Hi, it's Caitlin from Streets Ahead Style and I'm here today with the most amazing, shifty, shimmery, sparkly, beautiful, vampy, also summery collection from Wildflower Lacquer. So this is the For the Birds collection and if you're a fan of birds, then you're going to love this collection. I guess I'm a fan of birds, but I also don't like when they try to make nests in places they shouldn't. But like hearing birds is like, it, I don't know, brings my soul to life. So I'm very much in love with the concept behind this collection and I'm also in love with the actual colors that Wildflower Lacquer has created for us. So the collection will be launching on July 2nd at noon central time and it will be available for the entire month of July because this, pol this polish, well this collection, is based on a previous polish that Wildflower Lacquer released. It was the March polish pickup contribution called I Want to See Your Peacock and it was very popular and people loved it so Taylor created an entire seven piece collection based on that sort of look and the bird theme. And if you haven't already I would love if you like this video and subscribe to my channel for nail polish swatch central. Basically that's kind of all I do on this channel. Maybe I'll do other stuff one day but I really like swatching nail polish so that's what you'll get if you subscribe to my channel. So we have 11 incredibly beautiful polishes that I think we should just get into. So today I'm using a base coat for my swatches and I'm using one of the base coats from Under a Hula Moon. I will link in the cards my review video of all of their base coats and top coats because they're really great. The first polish I'm showing you is called Chirp Off Chickadee and this one is described as a milky white base with strong gold to green to blue shifting shimmer and scattered holographic flakes. So this polish has a really good formula. I mean, even on one coat, it looks really good, but two coats are all you will need to get this polish opaque. And the rounded flat wide brush that Wildflower Lacquer polishes come with make application so easy. I'm also applying top coat because you absolutely need top coat and these polishes dry down a little bit flat and top coat will bring out the hollow and the shift and the shimmer. So here it is in two coats plus top coat and in just a second I'm going to show you the shifts because this polish and the rest of them in the collection you need to see them in all the different lighting possible to really understand how beautiful and multi-dimensional they are. So as you can see here this has got a really strong bluey greeny shift when I move it into the different lighting and I'm just a huge huge fan of this one. The next polish is Finch Me I'm Dreaming and this one is described as a soft petunia pink base with peach undertones with strong gold to green to blue shifting shimmer and scattered holographic flakes. So this one once again it's the same great two coat formula it builds up perfectly and the hollow sparkle is just so beautiful. It's not at all overpowering, but it's absolutely there and you're not going to miss it when it's on your nails. So here I am applying some top coat. The top coat I'm using is also from Under a Hula Mood. Under a Hula Moon, so I will link that down below in the description too if you want to check it out. But here it is. I've got some different lighting so you can see the hollow sparkle. So you can see what I mean the shimmer strong and so is the hollow and here it is in different lighting and as I move my hand you're seeing the green you're seeing like honestly almost every color of the rainbow these polishes are just incredible and there's no way you'd get bored of them on your nail because they look different all the time and here we have all spangled up so I actually changed up my lighting because I wanted to show off the hollow even more as I was swatching. So now you're seeing it without filtered light. So this is it under direct light. So you can see the hollow sparkle as well as the shimmer. So I will read the description for this. It is a bright turquoise base with strong gold to green to blue shifting shimmer and scattered holographic flakes. So no surprise here. An incredible two coat formula. I'm applying top coat and this polish is beautiful. I will note that none of these polishes stain my nails. I did use a base coat but 
I can usually tell when a polish is going to stain even if I use a base coat and there were no issues with any of these so I'm very happy to report that they have great opacity and no staining. So as you can see here the shifts in this polish are so strong it looks so different depending on the angle you catch it in and this is like the ultimate mermaid nail polish. Here we have Tweet Hearts, and this one is a burnt orange base with strong gold to green to blue shifting shimmer and scattered holographic flakes. So this one, um, Taylor does say it may stain, but like I said, I didn't experience any staining, but if you're prone to staining, double up on your base coat just to be safe. But like I said, I used a base coat and I didn't have issues with staining. So like all the others, these polishes will not be difficult to remove. There's nothing in here that will give you any trouble. So you're getting a beautiful polish that's easy to apply, no application issues, and it's just so beautiful. So I'm a huge fan of this collection. This polish, I'm already imagining wearing it in the fall around Halloween because it's giving me like a pumpkin vibe. And I absolutely love that, especially where you've got that green shift in the orange i just think it's amazing and this one is called such a darling starling so this one is described as a deep fuchsia violet leaning base with strong gold to green to blue shifting shimmer and scattered holographic flakes this one why oh, i feel like i'm giving it away but this is another one of my favorites in the collection because it's so shifty there's you're just gonna see it in a second but at some angles you think it's a red polish but then at others you think it's a purple and then sometimes it looks like an orange so this one is amazing and as you can see when you apply top coat it just brings it to life in the best possible way so i love this one here it is trying to show off that hollow sparkle you can catch it when my fingers move and it's just so beautiful so let's look at it in a whole bunch of different lighting so you can see what I mean. So here you can see that purple and it's like almost blue and green and it's amazing. And I also wanted to show it right by my window light. It was kind of a cloudy day, but it looks great. Heaven Scent. So this one is described as a deep red base with strong gold to green to blue shifting shimmer and scattered holographic flakes so this one definitely has the deep red base but i will say overall it gives off more of a dark orange vibe um i'm actually wearing it on my toes right now and most of the time it kind of looks orange but you do see red at certain angles but um if you're looking for a red nail polish i wouldn't say this is red but it's gorgeous nonetheless and this is quite accurate i mean i guess it depends what your definition of red is i would say this is a very orange leaning red um but it's really beautiful super shifty and look at it like it looks different no matter which way you look at it so Uh, this polish is the last one. I'm so sad. It's the last one. This is called You Grackle Me Up and it is a blackened blue base with strong gold to green to blue shifting shimmer and scattered holographic flakes. So this one, I mean, this one was pretty much opaque in one coat, but I went in for two just to show you it has an amazing formula, super fluid, super shifty, super sparkly, and no staining with this one despite it being so dark and opaque so funny story about grackles there's like a swarm of them in my backyard every single year and they kind of like terrorize all the other birds so I actually showed this nail polish to my mom because I thought she would like it but she's like oh no I hate grackles I can't wear this nail polish so that's my funny story but look at this beautiful nail polish it's like green it's turquoise it's blue it's almost black it's everything and more. So if I had to pick my favorites from that collection, I think I would pick 
chirp off chickadee um that one i think is so beautiful i'm a fan of white nail polish kind of all the time but this one's really special and the formula is so good i also love all spangled up because who doesn't love that like super super bright turquoise kind of nail polish this one is so shifty and beautiful so i think i love it because one of my first nail polishes i fell in love with was orly's Haley's Comet, I think it was called, and this one kind of reminds me of that, but a hundred times better. And lastly, but not least, I would say if you had to pick up anything from this collection, I would highly recommend Such a Darling Sparling because it's like vampy but bright and there's so many shifts to it. It's just an incredible nail polish, so definitely put that one on your list. But let me know in the comments if there are any that you are planning to buy, if you're planning to buy the entire collection. If not, let me know if you like birds and what your favorite bird is. I don't know. I feel like I like the sound of morning doves, even though that's kind of sad. Um, but I also really like blue jays and cardinals and robins. So I don't know. I mean, I also like tropical birds, but you know, anyway. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are and I hope I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.